Hey guys, it's Doug. What's up? Welcome to another edition of Hall & Wax. I have a small haul today. Yankee Candle Fall. I actually picked up three of the jars, three of the large jars, and one melt cup. And I've talked about one of the fragrances before, but the other three I haven't. So I was wondering, do I even do a haul video? But no, I have, I have not talked about three of these, and I really want to talk about them again. I love this fall collection. Two of them are actually large jars. One is a three wick elevation, which I've never tried an elevation candle before. And then again, the melt cup. So let's start with something I have talked about before. Yes, I got a jar of Cider House. This is uh, probably my favorite Yankee fragrance in quite a while. Uh, absolutely love this. And as you can see here, I did start burning this. I started burning this, I got about four hours into it. I'm filming this actually in the morning, but yesterday when I actually got the haul, I couldn't wait to start burning this. So um, Cider House is such a, oh, it's such a nice scent. It is, um, it's apple, mulling spices. It's a nice cider type scent, but it's not super spicy. Uh, but there's cherry in it. I swear there is cherry in it and especially after burning this I'm even more uh, You know, I'm more sure that there's cherry in here There's also on burning a slight woodiness almost but again I don't want to get too far into the woods of burning this thing because I want to save that for the full review I can tell you though. Yes, it actually scented my house when it pooled out and it didn't have a full pool It's kind of um, it's doing that thing where the Yankees the edges they take a while the first burn to come in there, but I had a nice deep center pool in it, or decent for a four hour burn. You know, with the Yankee, you really gotta let it go, but hey, it actually scented my house. Now, when I get a little bit nose blind to it, we'll see if that changes, but I'm excited to review these, if nothing else, because I've had such a mediocre to bad experience with Yankees. I'm hoping that these new collection candles actually work, but Cider House so far uh, seems to be working, and I absolutely love the scent. So more on this in the review. All right, we're going to switch up to a melt cup here, guys. This is Pumpkin Apple Parfait. I wanted to find this when I did my first melt cup haul, but it did not exist in the stores. I tried to find a candle of this because I did get to try it, and it was so nice. Uh, about a week ago, I wanted the candle, couldn't find one. So, absolutely love this scent. People are going to really dig this. It's very similar to Cider Lane by Bath & Body Works. I don't think it's a dead dupe, though. I think the apple here is almost a little bit fresher. I think Yankee just does apple a little bit better. That's not to say... Uh, Cider Lane, there's something wrong with it. Cider Lane's amazing. It's one of my favorite fall candles of all time. But there's a little bit of pumpkin and a little bit of baking here. I get almost like a little bit of like a brown sugar also. And the apple in here is sort of that that uh, oh, well, that Yankee apple pumpkin note, which is amazing. So uh, I'm really excited to burn this candle whenever I can get one. I could not find one. I tried to find one. I called all around the stores. There is none in the area here. I'm probably going to get this one as a two wick to try it as a two wick just because the other ones I'm getting single wick. So we'll see. But pumpkin apple parfait, again, it's like Cider Lane to me. And this is on just on cold, just my impression. I haven't melted this or anything, but it's like Cider Lane Bath and Body Works, which is a classic. Uh, but there's a little bit of pumpkin in it, a little bit of bakery. Um, and again, I kind of get that brown sugar. I kind of lumped it into the bakery, but uh, really, really nice pumpkin apple parfait. Uh, I think it's a great fragrance. All right, guys, next up. Cider House is my favorite, but this one was a close second as far as the Yankee jars go. Look at this, Oak and Amber Incense. Now this is a scent that whenever I saw the name of it, I was like, oh, this would probably suck because sometimes these conceptual ones, they get nutty. And look at the label on that with those leaves. It looks beautiful. You can tell they actually designed the label around the keyhole um, versus when they just shrink the standard labels to the keyhole, those kind of suck. This one looks really good. Again, I would rather have a full label, but hey, it looks really, really good. If they're gonna do it, at least do it around like that. But this scent, it's not for everybody. This could be a Halloween candle. I think it could be a Halloween candle. Very woody, very leafy. There are some, ah, well, it's incense. I was gonna say some kind of exotic spices, but there's a hint of incense, but it's like a very dry, woody, masculine type of scent. I don't think it's cologne, but I could see how uh, folks could maybe think it'd be in the cologne territory. It's more woody to me though. Woody, spooky, mysterious. Now, I don't wanna to get too far in the woods here, uh, no pun intended, with this candle because it's a complex scent. I wanna save that for the actual review and really be able to get into it and see what's in here, but I really like it. It's very mysterious, very woodsy, it's very masculine. I really, really dig it on cold. All right guys, last up. This is my first ever Elevations Yankee candle. I've never had interest in them really, but this fragrance was so good. Uh, when I got my first um, Melt Cup haul a couple weeks back, I got to smell the small candle. Now they have the, the full-size ones in here. This is Tonka Bean and Pumpkin. This is a three-wick. I've never burned a three-wick Yankee before, so I'm curious to see how it does. But, um, uh, fragrance-wise, this is um, 
this is amazing. This this smells so freaking good. I know that talking to some of the other you know buddies that do candle reviews and just seeing on Instagram, a lot of people like how this smells. So it is a spicy, authentic pumpkin, like a baking style pumpkin with some kind of smoke and woods with it. Uh, it smells absolutely amazing. If this had been in the main line, I mean, this would be a huge hit. I know some people don't do the elevation scents in general. I mean, maybe they do actually. I don't. I, I typically just ignore them. But the scent was so good, I had to do this. I had to try it. Uh, I'd love to see what the label would look like though, and if it was an actual uh, standard Yankee. Anyways, though, I have heard uh, that this is similar to Harry Slatkin's um, when he did homeworks or started homeworks. That first fall season, he had a lot of those candles he, he didn't bring back. One of them was Smoked Pumpkin Woods. I never got to try that one. It was one I wanted to try. They're a fortune on Macari whenever I've looked, um, but those are the three wicks that he had. That scent has not come back. I've heard that this smells similar to it. Again, I don't know. I have never tried that candle, so I can't have that point of reference, but I know Kevin in an L, I trust what he says. He says it's similar, so there you go. I would trust him. Uh, but anyways, this scent though, again, it is so, so nice. It's that a really nice like baked pumpkin with smoke, woods. I don't know if that's greenery. What is that? Some kind of an outdoorsy note. Again, I need to burn this and really get this in. And I should say, uh, I didn't look at the notes before consulting these. I did see that they had the notes online for some of these last week. Um, I took a glance at it and I, I haven't looked before this, so apologies if I'm way off here, but that's what I get. And at this point, I trust my nose. So um, yeah, guys, that is my small haul. You're gonna see reviews of all of these. Well, not a review of Pumpkin Apple Parfait, the Melt Cup, but as soon as I get a jar of that, I'll absolutely start burning it. It's gonna be a little while uh, before I can actually you know, do the reviews of these. I'm not gonna just rush through the summer stuff, uh, but I'm excited. And I have to say that in, oh, what is it, about two weeks, I've heard that the Bath & Body Works test candles are coming out. I mean, that's always, it's after the 4th of July normally when they come out. I'm hoping to get a couple of those if there's some good new fall scents. Um, you know, I'm just pumped to talk fall, right? Uh, I do have a couple summer candle reviews. I've actually already filmed that those are coming down, but I wanted to get to my Yankee. Whenever my Yankee store, I called and said, hey, can you do a buy one, get one if I pick up a couple of these candles? And Cider House was a swap. So the other two large jars were a buy one, get one. They did it for me. So including the elevation, they included that. So I was down on uh, down for that. So that's why I did it. And I wanted to start burning these because Yankees, they can take forever to burn. And a shameless plug, my Spooky Villages channel, I'm doing my Halloween Village reviews. And these are nice to uh, burn while I'm doing those to kind of get me in the spirit for it. And if you uh, don't subscribe over there, uh, I know I do my Halloween Village review uh, stuff, you know, on that channel. That's the main thing I do. But uh, I actually have my trip to Cracker Barrel, my Halloween trip to Cracker Barrel, which is the best videos, uh, at least performing videos I do on that channel, which is funny to me that I do the Halloween Villages, but Cracker Barrel is what, what does the most views. So anyways, um, that comes after the fourth. That's normally when Cracker Barrel puts their stuff out. And I'm cool with the manager over there. They know that I'm gonna be bugging them when the Halloween stuff goes out. So I'll be over there the first day that it does to check it out. And uh, another thing, since we are talking fall here, and this is you know kind of not gonna be talking fall for a few more weeks here, um, but just to talk about it, I'm trying to put together something cool for this channel with several other YouTubers for Halloween. And I don't know what that is yet, but I wanna do a big joint thing, and it's people that I've never collaborated with before, and I think it'd be fun. There are so many good YouTubers out there, and a lot of them really, really dig Halloween. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. And I know, especially with the Yankees that are coming out this year, I'm looking forward to like the Haunted Hayride. Uh, in August, I'm gonna try and do a big lead up on this channel to Yankee Halloween by reviewing a ton of candles day by day by day, a different Halloween candle. I've got a pretty good Halloween collection at this point of candles amassed from the last few years. So uh, I'm also going to be doing a why did I start burning and how did I get into candles video? I'll be doing that soon as well. So that's kind of what's coming up, guys. Um, as always, you know, thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you soon.